We got a degenerosity video. Four characters I can beat three. Let's get into it. What's in the basket? <gasps> Never ever show me anything this ugly again. Old movies used to have the ugliest scary characters, bruh. Cause why the fuck is this on my screen? <gasps> Yo, it's spooky season. Halloween's right around the corner. So we back at it again it's today. with more horror movie characters that I know can't stand a foot against me because of my strength <laughs> and intelligence. No mm -hmm. one likes a long opening ceremony. So let's waste no time and get right into round one. The Terrifier? Bro, depending on which version it is, I wouldn't even fight it. I've seen this man do the most disgusting things possible. I'm pretty sure he took a pink and chainsawed it in the first three minutes of the new movie. That's what I heard. I haven't seen it myself, but that would make me walk out the movie theater too. Terrifier from the movie Terrifier is about Terrifier, terrifying and murking random people. Oh my gosh. I know his name is Art the Clown, but Terrifier is more fun to say. Now when it looking is. at him, he looks like your ordinary killer clown. <laughs> what and the he heck? Is, but the difference between him and the rest is that he's brutal. He will deal with his victims in the messiest, most grotesque way possible. Yeah. I don't even think I can show you any of the ways of how he do it because this YouTube. But he saws a woman in half from her poon poon to her head in ah. front of her BFF. This dude crazy. However, is that the I first don't movie? Think he's all that terrifying based on my observations of him. In the first movie, when we get introduced to him, we as the audience can subtly tell that there's something different about this guy. Nah, from... this dude's crazy. That's. <laughs> This dude crazy, y'all. Imagine you about to eat some food and you see somebody doing that. I would leave the restaurant. I promise you I would. Anything weird like this, I don't stay too long. And I always got that shit on me. You feel me, chat? I always got that shit on my hip, bro. I would not be caught lacking by Arthur the Clown. But he's still kind of scary because I am scared of clowns. If this motherfucker followed me around, I'm cooked, bro. Can subtly tell that there's something different about this guy from everybody else. I don't know if you can notice, but this man's teeth is terrible. It looked like he <laughs> never picked up a toothbrush a day in his life. You can tell he at least got gingivitis or mouth cancer. Ah. So that'll lower his stats in a fight against me. He technically fighting two battles at once. He also gets <laughs> by the pizza what shop the owner for being weird and creepy. Now, this would have been an amazing moment to jump on. Even though at this point in the movie, he hasn't killed anyone yet, him having a staring problem at the shop alongside his whole demeanor, I'ma assume he's trying to start something, and we fighting that. And since everyone else in the shop hate him too, they're joining in with me. Cause the way he do these murders, he strikes me as someone you can win against if you can sneak him or come in number <laughs> when he don't got a gun. Now I know he technically a demon since he gets revived at the end of the first and second movie, but he I didn't got even know that. no other huh. demon powers. Plus his revives takes at least two to three business days to do. So I will have time for seconds. I just gotta be on my toes. This is low to mid diff at best. What the heck? Long legs. Long legs is about. I'm supposed to see this movie. Is it good, y'all? Let me know. Long legs is about an FBI agent who gets assigned to a case of a string of murders, and each one leaves a note signed by Long Legs. This guy. However, what's Ew. weird about these murders is, other than the letters left at the scene, there's no physical evidence that this guy is the killer. Even though he definitely is. Like, look at him. He, he be eating people. Song. The reason for the lack of evidence is because there's two more accomplices to of the course. murders. The they always make movies like this, bro. It's more than one person. Oh wow. That's why I hated the recent Scream movies. It's so cliche. More than one killer. Oh, like, bro, like, that shit is whack as hell. The reason for the lack of evidence is because there's two more accomplices to the murders. The main character's mom and Satan, the of devil course. himself. What? They've been creating dolls of their victims, giving it to them, and having the devil do the rest. So this is a powerful force I'm dealing with. Wait, How am I what? I'm supposed to beat these guys when they have the literal devil on their side. Well jokes on them because i deal with the devil every day ah okay struggles okay temptation anger and almost half the time i end up winning because i have god on my side hallelujah in a fight against these devil worshiping demons i Hall believe he will give me the strength of a thousand young to punish these sinners a thousand young what is the power scaling of YNs? The fact that he said a thousand YNs, will we power scaling them? A thousand? Is that city level? So yes, I could confidently say, on God, I'm beating the <laughs> devil alongside his ugly ass disciples too. No diff. 
Oh my god! Holy Ghost. The holy the holy ghost fire! <laughs> he gonna use the holy ghost fire! I'm sorry, bro. I got problems. I have the holy ghost with me. A quiet place? I think I would die. A quiet place I'm too clumsy and I talk too goddamn much. Like right now, I'm pausing the video to talk. I would definitely die in this movie, bro. A quiet place takes place in a world where monsters called death angels just popped up in New York and started killing people. Although these things are blind, you can't make any sound or noise because these things will find you. So you got to stay quiet. This is gonna be more of a how I'd survive than me beating them. Cause what I look like trying to fight this, I'm not Epo. First, I'm gonna <laughs> travel solo or with my direct family. I'm not traveling with no other groups, none of that. Especially if they got a kid with them. Your family can betray you too though. You ever think about that? You can't trust nobody in a world like this. It's eat or be eaten. The generosity, will you get eight? Will you get eight up? Would you get eight alive, the generosity? Hmm? Me personally, I wouldn't trust nobody. I will always keep that stick on me. You feel me? I'll always be watching over my back. If we all came together and we was really trustworthy people, see, I f with y'all. I know y'all wouldn't, like, y'all wouldn't do nothing weird to me. So we all came together, made our own little compound, and we was called the true gods. We will win. We would never let anything happen to us in the quiet place unless one of y'all are stupid and want to yell one day. Second no kids all of them gotta go because they'll be the first ones to get us killed most of them be crying over the smallest things i remember when this happened in the movie bro this shit had me in tears bro <sighs> great movie can't wait for our next one to come out the quiet place day one is the stupidest prologue of all time or prelude whatever word you want to use it never explained how they came or why they came they just came out the sky one day what the most of them be crying over the smallest things. Plus, they won't be able to run from these monsters with their little legs. They are free meal for these things. And I'm not trying to be the appetizer. And I'm only talking little, little kids. If your kid is old enough to know when to shut the hell up, they're cool. But if they aren't, I'm sorry to tell you, but I highly recommend you to abandon your children. They'll only hold you back just like in real life. Who knows? Wow. They might be able to survive on their own, maybe probably in yeah, 5% chance, but th that's not nothing. So only family, no kids, and a lifetime supply of moon pies. That's Twinkies? Gotta stay fed somehow. In that's fact, we probably don't even gotta do all that. Cause spoilers, their weakness is high pitch frequencies. So you can basically go to PetSmart and buy a dog whistle and have them beat. These guys aren't or, even much of a threat. They're like a little puppy that can rip you in half. When looking mm. at them like that, they don't seem too scary no more, do they? Meaning they ain't gonna be a challenge for me. 10 out of 10, I'm surviving a quiet place. Wild scream. He's capping. He's capping, bro. The generosity, you're not surviving, bro. I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. You're not. You're not surviving. You're a yapper. You know what I'm saying? You get on these videos and you yap. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna say something. I feel like 85% of the world we live in now is not surviving the quiet place. Let's be honest, bro. I might be in that percentage, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I might be cooked. Not be able to talk. Man, something, something really crazy gonna happen. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> and then I'm cooked, bro. I need you to... Shake that booty. This is the one when you, they was brother. like on Unfriended webcam. Is a movie taking I've seen place this. in a Skype call. A group of friends are chatting. Then the ghost of their friend that self-destructed exactly a year earlier joins the call and starts murking them one by one until one of them confesses about recording and posting an embarrassing video of her, which ended up being her 13th reason. And the ghost power wow. level is pretty strong. It could physically break into their house and it's shown powers of mind control. So she ain't like some of those other ghosts that exist just to haunt you and be spooky this ghost means business but y'all know me no person ghost or demon gonna catch me lacking i know i can beat this ghost the only reason these guys had a hard time with it is because these group of friends are dumber than a sack of potatoes they are although they do try calling the police once and attempt to track the ghost down as if it ain't a ghost they don't do nothing <laughs> else to fight against this ghost they just play along with its death games and i'm just wondering why none of these guys are leaving granted the ghost said if anyone leaves the call they die but they can leave the house without the ghost knowing while staying in call at the same time that is everybody's true. screaming and distracting on there laura ain't gonna notice 
By the way, that's the name of the ghost. And even if she were, we don't know that because they don't even try it. Or even better, secretly text everyone in the chat to turn off their Wi-Fi at the same time. So they all leave the Skype call at once. Because with this, that's they pretty technically smart. did not that's leave smart. the call. They got kicked out, so it doesn't count. And even if it do, it can't go after all of us. It's one ghost. Only one of y'all gotta die. Not me though. <laughs> or we can do the best option, which is to confess your sins. Cause spoilers, the main girl in the movie was the one that filmed Laura's 13th reason and posted it. And earlier in the film, when she was researching how to stop ghosts from killing you and your friends on FaceTime, the website said admitting guilt is the only way out. So all she had to do was say, yo, about the video and the bullying and me being the reason you shot yourself. Damn. My bad, like, I didn't even know you were gonna do all that for real. She could have just done that, but instead, she blames her friends when the ghost asks who did it, getting them killed, with her still dying because the ghost knew she lying the whole time. Unbelievable. <laughs> My all gosh. this bloodshed was completely avoidable. See, that's the stuff I'll be talking about. This is what I expect from y'all if we live during a quiet place at the same time. Y'all would do some dumb shit like this. Y'all see, Peter? Watch closely. Avoidable. I I truly think y'all would do something like that. I'm not going to lie. That's why I am going to be by myself and I will live in solitude alone because y'all are stupid. All this bloodshed was completely avoidable. I've listed a few good options to beat this ghost and save your friends lives at the same time. But you know what this girl does at the end of the movie instead? She goes on chat roulette begging people to call the police for her. Now, if this is not the dumbest option, I don't know what is. That is Tell pretty me, stupid. I ain't gonna lie. Would you go on a mago, talking to niggas from Timbuktu, begging them, please call the cops. A ghost is killing us. I would just skip them. Like, it's a prank. Why would that idea even cross your mind? These guys are so dumb in the movie. There's no saving them but they're saving me. I am not dying in this situation, even if these were my group of friends, cause I'ma be in that call confessing and snitching like I just received a happy meal at interrogation. I'm <laughs> all for ride or die, but dying is always the last option for me. And if I don't have to, I ain't going to. This is a low diff ghost problem. I'm surviving. Godzilla? Godzilla's a horror movie? Godzilla needs no introduction cause everyone will know them when they're big that shows up. Some might say they aren't a <laughs> horror movie character, but I know the Japanese would hate to see this coming. I'm oh, sorry, that was funny, bro. He ain't lying, though. They probably play this shit on Halloween as a tradition, bro. That's how scary it is to them. Not only do they stand at more than 350 feet, Damn. but some of its powers include nuclear breath, nuclear shock waves, laser beams, telepathy, regeneration, Tele flight, Tele telepathy. and fight. This thing's stats are all maxed. I'm surprised anybody stood a chance at even damaging this beast. Many people would assume the task of beating Godzilla is an impossible mission. But you know what? They said the same thing to Tom Cruise about his missions. And that guy has like 30 movies proving us wrong. So do <laughs> I have a plan against Godzilla? Of course I do. Listen and learn. Now, fighting, military weapons, and nukes won't work on it. But you know what would? An Ava. We build a mother Ava suit to beat Godzilla. These things are not only strong, they're crazy fast, or at least fast enough to dodge his lasers and hot ass breath. Plus, we've seen how crazy the Ava can be when it goes berserk. Against Godzilla, it might have a chance. Now you might ask, you said how might. am I gonna get access to an Ava? And I'm telling you, if Godzilla pulled up to Myrtle Beach one day wreaking havoc, they won't have time to think about military strategy or how unqualified I am for this task. It won't matter because they will see my confidence. And when me and whoever the president will be next week, me, I. You said when? You said when? Next week? Are you trying to tell me that Godzilla is coming next week? Or are you saying that the president that's about to be elected will be the, the president during Godzilla's terror the generosity answer the fucking question next week is godzilla coming or is the president during this term godzilla will come i didn't know how many years i got to prepare i'm about to build a bonker or something what are you talking about and when me and whoever the president will be next week meet eyes they will immediately be like someone please get this man a suit and all of our tax money ava suit secured now all we need is someone's mom to sacrifice and merge her soul to the ava <laughs> I vote Beyonce. I believe her soul is stronger than a thousand suns. Beyonce! That's a compliment and a curse at the same time, bro. <laughs> he picked
pick the most random person of all time. The Beehive is not going for that. I vote Taylor Swift. Swifties, I'm just joking. I, I, I'm just joking. That's a compliment. I promise you it is. It's a compliment. You know how they be, bro. They be on your ass. I'm just joking. And also, I meant it as a compliment because, like, Taylor Swift and Beyonce are the biggest women of our generation. Duh. All those requirements put together, I believe I have a pretty strong chance against Godzilla. And if the government so happens to deny my request, then we're all fucked. I'm not gonna hype myself up too much, so I would say I have like a six, maybe seven out of ten chance of beating Godzilla, you this know? Man. But it has to be in the suit. With no Ava suit, pray. <laughs> He's capping, bro. A lot of these, he is not winning, bro. But I love, I love the confidence, the generosity. I really do. But only I can defeat all these characters. Let's be honest.